Yo, what's up? We are now in the Peugeot E28 and today I will do the Yalo test. I haven't done it in a long time, so um, yes, I want to find out. Okay, this is a city car. Many people call it a city car, but it also has good range. And I want to find out if you can drive from here to Yalo, which is typical cab cabin area. We have to go uphill also, that's the challenge, but it is summer now, but people still go to the cabin in summer, so it's still kind of valid, yes, this test. So I charge the car to 100%, and we have about 220 something kilometers to Yalo. So, it's a nice weather today, uh, so far 18 degrees Celsius. So I guess we just crank up the music and enjoy the ride. We are now in Gur and uh, Gom says we have 110 kilometers of range left. Wow, oops, let me adjust here. They're kind of, yeah, all right. So, um, you see, this is what you have to expect when you drive in Norway or many other countries, which is that uh, you can't really cruise at 110, 120 kilometers per hour. If you ever try to drive to Hallstatt, you will have roads more or less like this, you know, there's no Autobahn all the way to Hallstatt. So um, only 77 kilometers per hour average. That's actually considered good. Uh, if you <laughs> think that, I mean, if you, if you remember that uh, the speed limit in Norway is generally around 80 kilometers per hour. So 158 uh, watt hour kilometer, yeah, okay. It's kind of high-ish uh, compared to other cars in this class. But um, it is 17 degrees Celsius outside today. And uh, we have fif about 50 more kilometers to go. So, all right. Um, in this case, we don't have to go to uh, the Ionity charger here. We can go straight to um, Yalo. Oh, you know what? There is a scale here I want to check out. Okay, how does it work? Uh, what? Uh, okay, there are some numbers there. 1560, huh? Which one is it? 1600. Okay, I don't know all these numbers. 1560 seems to be the total weight. And then the front and the rear axle. Uh, this is a weird scale that I don't understand how it works. Okay, let me see. 1560, all right. And then again, if we go off. Okay, the rear axle is. 700 or 660. What? Okay, whatever. Let's go to Yalo. We are now at Hagafoss. Uh, we have 10 kilometers left uh, to uh, Yelo, right? Uh, over here it's 14 degrees Celsius. And uh, Gom says I have 36 kilometers left. So uh, it should be good, right? <laughs> Except that 
we are going uphill now. So uh, it will eat a little bit of juice, but uh, okay. Let's hope it's okay. <laughs> Let's see how fast the the gum drops now. Oh, I have to increase my speed. Here. Shit. Okay. We are now in Yalu and we arrived here with 14%. Okay, not too bad, but I think in winter, especially if you have more people in the car, then you should top up on the way here. Just a quick one, maybe five, 10 minutes, just to be sure. Um, and then after five minutes of charging, I worked that we have, uh, well, it looks like 78 kilowatt uh, average speed, but if you count in a little bit of losses, then at least 75 kilowatt average. That's good. Again, in summer, in winter, it could be different. But okay, um, hmm, what to do now? Well, let's charge up to 90%. And look here, I brought cup noodles. Yes, because of the corona situation today, I will probably not go and eat anywhere outside. Um, and then I also brought uh, this one, which is hot water and then I will preheat it. Well, I mean, I preheated it already, and then I will just heat it up even more here. So let's see now, let's oh, pop the noodle. I haven't had noodle in a long time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a nice day today in Yelo. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen it before, but um, they now have 350 kilowatt fast chargers plus 150 kilowatt. Um, but there's one thing to note with these uh, chargers is that um, they actually don't use water cool cable. It's just passively cool. So it doesn't vibrate and it's, it's slightly thinner. So I wonder what happens if you try to charge an e-tron in summer um, and it's uh, 25 degrees Celsius outside. Then it might throttle the speed after a while. But as for this car, then it doesn't matter too much. So you see, actually, after just 20 minutes, I've added 50% already. Yeah, okay, 21 minutes then. That is fast, man. So my noodles are still not ready yet, so still have to eat. So for most cases, uh, about yeah, 20, 20 minutes when you, you're in a rush, or then half an hour, 40 minutes if you have some time. It's just perfect for charging stops. And uh, let me see. Uh, you guys have seen this in winter, by the way. Uh, just white everywhere now. It's spring, well, actually close to summer. Um, so we start seeing a little bit of green, but <laughs> there's actually still snow up on the hills there. I wonder if they... Now nah, they, nah, they, they shut it down. Yeah, there's no one skiing nowadays. I think the ski season is over now. Oh yeah. Mm, mm. Mm. Oh, we've been here over an hour. I didn't mean to stay here that long, um, but well, okay, we have 93%. Um, I went to the restroom, yeah, uh, for type two, discharge, and then I pulled out my phone. And then half an hour later, I was done. But okay, anyway, um, you see, uh, I went to Circle K and they had some deals that I couldn't say no to. This is Morud. Morud's a motor. It's minus 70%. And why is that? Well, because the best before date is the 5th of May. But, you know, this is, this is still good shit. Yeah. Best before still means that it's good. And then they also have Kim's potato chips. So this is also minus 70%. So again, I just had to grab them. There were actually two more of these bags here, but good enough. And this one, this one expired already in April, but you know, this is just so salty. It's full of uh, uh, chemicals, so it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, that's fine. It will survive a long time. I bet you should put this, uh, you should put it in, in a bowl, right? And leave it there for one year. It will still look fresh, just like McDonald's fries. So yes, now I have enough snack to go to uh, Reddit for one night. <laughs> okay, but I think uh, we'll just unplug and go home now. And I actually like this navigation. You see here, we have elevation, yeah. 
And then this is a scale, so when you zoom out, it changes. And you have TomTom -tom traffic. I saw that there was Baustelle on the way here. And then look, if you search, you can do a point of interest search, like I've done in the past. And you can say Alna Center, for example. That's close to my home. So if you say Alna S, it should find it. Well, actually, no, it didn't. Center. Okay. It should find that one, you see? Yeah. 160 kilometers. Okay, that's just the, the, the air distance. And then that's 229 kilometers back to home. Yeah, good stuff. We have just passed Gul and uh, we are, uh, how many kilometers away from right now? Uh, 173 kilometers away from home. 16 degrees Celsius here, but look at GOM. <laughs> yeah, so for you guys who don't know what GOM is, it stands for guest o meter It is based on the past consumption. So right now, the guest o meter the GOM claims that we have another 360 kilometers of range plus the 55 kilometers we have driven. But you see, this would be realistic if we kept driving downhill. But <laughs> yeah, and also 97 watt hour per kilometer, that's actually pretty good. But you know, that's not gonna happen. So uh, yeah, it, it actually starts flattening out now. But it will still go a little bit downhill now. Uh, well, actually we can see it here, I forgot. Oh, we can see it here. We, have, we are at 203 meter over sea level. And the starting point at, um, Alnabru is about 100 meters over sea level. So you have another 100 meter of drop. Man, I like this. I mean, uh, elevation should be standard on every car yeah, nowadays. So, okay, we have another uh, 170 kilometers back to Oslo. Let's enjoy the ride. Okay, we are back in Oslo. This is uh, Circle K near my home. And uh, we only spend 128 watt hour per kilometer on the way down here. So you see we had downhill plus tailwind. On the way up, we had headwind and up, uphill. So that's actually quite good. Uh, it means that the average consumption for the whole trip is 148. So it is in fact lower than when I do the 90 kilometers per hour constant speed uh, range test. So, uh, and then I arrive here with 30%, so I only spend 66% coming back here. But again, this is summer, so in winter it'll be slightly worse, but yeah, now you get an idea how this car can handle it. Uh, and also when I charge, uh, I try to charge for five minutes now, and then I calculate that the average speed after some losses is about 75 kilowatts. So that's actually pretty good. What's gonna happen in winter with Colgate? We don't know. <laughs> so yes, I think that's gonna be it then. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.